Hey guys, it's me and Timmy. Welcome back. So much has happened in the past two videos that I did. We got verified, which is insane. That's, that's incredible. Thank you guys so much. Thank you to all my subscribers. Really, that means a lot to me. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe so you can see more of my videos. <laughs> Timmy's actually not feeling so well. He's a bit sick, so I'm like trying to hug him and cuddle him. Even though it's like really hot in here. <laughs> oh, Timmy, why are you so sad? Huh? Today's video is a very special video because it's actually one of my most requested videos to date and it is makeup on darker skin. Now this is inspired by a look I did on Naomi Campbell so I actually did Naomi Campbell's makeup and you can see it here, I'll post a picture. And my model for today is the beautiful, lovely Remy. Thank you Remy so much for being my model. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy and keep watching. As you can see, Remy looks beautiful before and she looks beautiful after. And to start off this look, I'm gonna be using Capture Youth Plump Filler by Dior. And this is a serum and I really love using serums because they're very light and makeup goes on beautifully on top. And I'm just going to massage that into the skin. And I like to blend that down the neck as well and make sure everything's looking glowy and healthy. For foundation, I'm using one of my favorite foundations. I talk about this foundation so much. This is the Dior Face and Body Foundation from their Backstage line. And this is in the shade 7.5W, which is warm. And I'm going to be applying that on the skin with the Dior Number no. 12 Foundation Brush. And again, I love to work in very thin layers to make sure I have an even coverage all over. And then I go in with concealer where I need more coverage. And as you can see, these thin layers are really evening out Remy's skin and it's looking so beautiful. And on the forehead, because we tend to be typically darker, I like to use a bit of that foundation and just blend out whatever's left on the brush. For concealer and color correcting, I'm using the MAC Studio Conceal and Correct palette in the shade Extra Deep. This is a new palette and I love it. It has everything you need to conceal, color correct, brighten, and contour the darkest skin, which is awesome. And I'm going to be going in with the first shade with my Ray Morris brush. And I'm going to be listing all the brushes in the video. And I'm going to be using that as a color correcting shade and a concealer shade at the same time. So focusing it around the nose and under the eyes. Again, working in very thin layers and adding more if I need it. And if you guys are familiar with this concealer, it's very creamy. So I really like to take my time and work it into the skin, push it into the skin as it melts. That way you get an even, beautiful, seamless finish. For around the mouth, I'm going to mix it in with a bit of the warmer shade, the more reddish shade, just to color correct around the lips and blending it out with my foundation brush. A light layer to highlight the forehead as well and to cut the cheekbone because I really like to reverse contour in that part. So reverse contouring is using a lighter shade instead of a darker shade in the cheekbone and you would typically put it on the jawline to really highlight that bone structure. And I really love doing this trick. Again, blending with my foundation brush. Repeat the same steps on the other side. Then I'm going to go in with the lighter shade in the palette and just very strategically put it in the inner, is that a tear duct? Kind of. <laughs> just to give that extra brightness because I'm going to go in with another concealer on top. And I'm going to be using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer just to add that touch of creamy brightness because I really like to work in layers to give the skin a lot of beautiful dimension. To set everything in place, I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Powder in the shade Translucent Medium Deep. This is the powder that I used on Naomi as well and she loved it. So I'm going to be pressing it in with the Velour Puff to make sure all these cream products are really set and they don't budge. So bring it down the nose, on the forehead, on the chin. I'm going to leave that powder on and I'm going to put a bit of the Dior Lip Maximizer as a bit of a hydrating lip balm. And I'm going to brush up and fill in her brows with a bit of the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil in the shade number 6. Just filling any gaps. For an eyeshadow base, I'm taking the Smashbox Photo Finish Lid Primer in the shade Dark. And this sort of dried too quickly so I couldn't have enough time to work with it. If you do use this, work very quick. <laughs> but it did make for a beautiful base. And for eyeshadow, I'm using the Huda Beauty Topaz Obsessions palette. And I'm starting with the darkest chocolate brown shade in the outer corner. And just blend it up and into the crease slightly. And it really pulls and wings out her eyes, which is the kind of look that I love. And I'm gonna be dipping into that orange shade as well to blend the edges. So that kind of really warms up the brown as well. And it looks amazing on her skin tone. Make sure you keep blending so that the edges are seamless. And then taking a bit of that darker shade again and going in on the lower lash line. Just a very soft diffused blend. And taking in a bit of that orange as well. I'm going to work a bit of that orange into the crease. And blend it in with a fluffy brush. And going up into the brow in the inner corners. Next I'm taking that topaz shimmer shade and I'm going to put it on the lid. And just build it up in the center of the lid. 
as you can see, that gave a beautiful brightness to the eye. I'm going to go in with that lighter rosy shimmer and I'm going to put it on the inner corners and blend it into that middle shade. And that really gives you that wide eyed, beautiful, bright look. Putting more of that orange on the lower lash line. Next, I'm going to line her lash line with the Pat McGrath Black Coffee Eye Pencil, just for a guide for my eyeshadow after. And to intensify that, I'm going in with my MAC Semi Sweet Times 9 eyeshadow palette and using the black to diffuse that liner and getting it really close to the lash line. And to set the brow and give it that extra color, I'm using the Dior Show All Day Brow Ink in the shade number 21. For mascara, I'm using the Dior Show Iconic Over Curl Mascara and just coating her lashes, doing the lower lashes as well. And then I'm gonna apply the Ardell Individual Lashes in the style medium. And just focusing that on the outer corner as well because I really wanna lift the eye again. And as you can see, that adds a beautiful lift to her eyes. For a cheek stain and blush, I'm going to be using the Dior Addict Lip Tattoo. And this is such a stunning berry color that's going to work beautifully on her cheeks. And I'm using that with a MAC 109 brush. And I'm really going to stipple it on and build in thin layers. Bit on the tip of the nose, on the chin, so that it gives that healthy glow. And for highlights, I'm taking the Dior Backstage Glow Face Palette, and I'm using the shade Bronze. And I'm just going to be highlighting the high points of the face. I'm going to go back with the lip tattoo on the lips, and I realize that this isn't the look that I want to go for, so I'm using it a bit more of, as a stain, just to give her lips a bit of a rosy base. So for lipstick, I'm going to be using Taupe from MAC Cosmetics, and I'm going to be applying that all over the lips. and blending it in with a lip brush, just to make sure it's really worked in. And tapping it on the center of the lips to give you that extra coverage. To make it a bit more wearable, I'm using the MAC Lip Pencil in the shade Chestnut, and just tying everything together and blending in the edges as well. And if you want to blend it further into the lip color, you can. It's going to give you that really beautiful natural look. And then to set the blush, I'm taking a bit of the NARS Wanted Cheek Palette number two, and I'm using that raspberry shade and applying that very softly on the apples of the cheeks because it's a very intense blush. And to set everything in place and make her skin look very glowy, I'm using the MAC Fix Plus in the Scent Rose. And this is the final look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this look. This is my Naomi Campbell inspired look from when I did her makeup. Let me know if you want more videos like this. Remy really has to come back to my channel. We have to do a talking video, us two. <laughs> So let me know what you guys want to see with Remy down below in the comments and I'll see you guys soon. Bye. To continue browsing my channel, click left or right and watch more of my videos.